Okay, so for the Battle of Yunnan, we have one infantry and one artillery from Japan, three fighters and one bomber going up against two American infantry units and one British infantry unit. So we've got two green, three blue, and one red for the Japanese. Looking for three hits, looking for three hits. And they got four hits. All right, four hits. The bomber and the two fighters and one of the either the infantry or artillery hit. So that will eliminate all three of the allied units. So now they will get to fire back with three green die. Three green dice, I should say. And here's the And they got one hit. One hit. So one hit in, um, in Yunnan. So I will lose an infantry, Japan will lose an infantry unit there, but three allied infantry units have been eliminated. All right, so we'll put those back. Artillery, three fighters, and the bomber back in Yunnan, and they'll move in non-combat movements. All right, so next up will be Burma. Let me pause and I'll set this one. Well, well no, there's only one infantry unit there for, for uh, the UK, so I'll, I won't have to pause. All right, so we've got three Japanese infantry. We've got three Japanese infantry, two, two artillery, two artillery, and one fighter going up against one British infantry unit. Just looking for one hit here. And we got four hits. All right, even the infantry hit, the lone infantry hit. All right, so the British infantry unit has been eliminated, but he does get to fire back. So he'll roll one green two hit die. And it hits, of course. So Japan will lose an infantry unit, and we'll be left with two infantry and artillery and two artillery in Burma, along with the fighter that'll have to move. All right, so that will take care of Yunnan. Oh, excuse me, Burma. <laughs> It'll take care of Burma. Season 34, we've got one fighter going up against one transport. In our game, we allow transports to defend at a one, so we're rolling one blue die and one black die. The black die, we represent the transport. The transport got a hit. So the fighter hit and so did the transport. Oh, bummer. Oh well, that's the way it goes. So the transport went down in a, with a fight. All right, so that'll take care of that fighter and that transport in C-Zone 34. In C-Zone 61, we've got a battleship and a destroyer. going up against a cruiser, so I can roll all this at one time. The British cruiser is represented by the blue dice. The blue dice. And they all three hit. Okay, so um, I'll take a damage on my battleship, and the cruiser has been eliminated. So, practically nothing happened to the Japanese there. Okay, and lastly, we've got one sub going up against one transport. We got a surprise strike attack by the sub first. And he missed. And then I'm nervous about this. We've got the transport firing back. Let's hope this transport's not like the other British transport. And it is not, it missed as well. So another surprise strike. Miss. Another roll by the transport. And it hits. Wow, unbelievable. Okay, so, wow, these transports are unbelievable. Okay, so this transport took out this sub. Oh, I had a feeling when you do so many battles, you sometimes you're gonna have one or two not go your way. So that's what's happened here. So let me pause the video and come back uh, and set up my non-combat movements. Okay, so for my non-combat movements, the fighter in Anway 
has move, one movement left, it's going to fly down to Quang Tung and land there. The bomber is also going to land in Quang Tung. No, I take that back. It's going to land in French Indochina. Bomber's going to land in French Indochina. The other fighters in Yunnan, when one with uh, the two, the two with one movement left in their fuel gauge, are going to land in Quang Tung. The three infantry in Kiang Su are going to move to Quang Tung. The fighter with three movements left in its fuel gauge is going to land on this aircraft carrier, which is going to move one space up into C-Zone 36. So it's going to come out and land on the aircraft carrier there. The battleship is going to move with it. And the fighter that fought in Burma is going to move back to French Indochina as well. All right, so the carrier in C-Zone 50 is going to move two spaces back to C-Zone 60. No, I take that back. I'm sorry. It's also going to land in C zone. It's going to move two spaces into C zone 36 as well. The cruiser in C zone 50 is going to move to C zone 36. And I believe that will do it. So the industrial complex is going to be put down in French Indochina. Transport is going down into C zone 60. And the destroyer is also going down into C-Zone 60. So I believe that does it for all the non-combat movements. So next up will be a unit recap. So here we go. In Anway, we've got three infantry. In Quang Tung, three infantry two fight, th and three fighters. Two infantry and three fighters. In Yunnan, one artillery. In Burma, two infantry and two artillery. In French Indochina, we have one bomber and one fighter. In C-Zone 36, oh, one non-combat movement, I forgot, LT, sorry about this, I'm moving one infantry from Malaya to French Indochina. So there's an infantry now in French Indochina, not in Malaya. All right, so at C-Zone 36, we've got one cruiser, one battleship, two aircraft carriers with one fighter, and one transport. In the East Indies, two infantry. Borneo, one infantry. Philippines, one infantry and an artillery. C-Zone 61, a battleship and a destroyer. Okinawa, an infantry. Carolina Islands, an infantry. New Guinea, an infantry. Solomon Islands, an infantry. Wake Island, one infantry. Iwo Jima, an infantry. And in C-Zone 60, one destroyer and one transport. On Japan, one tank, one AAA gun, and three infantry. All right, so I believe that'll do it for Japan's turn. Hopefully I kept this under 15 minutes. And uh, boy, those transports really uh, did a number on me. Took out a fighter and a sub. And uh, <clears throat> one of them even survived, so. All right, so that'll do it from turret two. Uh, from Cap for Captain Jack, signing off. Oh, le oh, let me do the IPC. Sorry, uh, Japan went up one and two and three. So Japan went up three from thirty to thirty-three, and that should bring the Americans down two to forty, and the British down one to thirty-six. I believe that's where they are. All right, so finally, that will do it from Turret 2. So uh, from Turret 2, Captain Jack signing off. Over and out. Good luck, LT.